Beetle. Hello everybody, welcome back. We need to play Pokemon tonight, because I like Pokemon, and I want to play this game for the last couple days, and, uh, you know, fuck me. I'm not gonna play it, you know. Ugh. So I was looking up, like, I'm like, oh, you know, let me look up to see what you do with all these extra Pokemon. Do you just get rid of them? Like, yeah, you just, you just, you know, you catch so many that eventually the game says, okay, here's how you get rid of them all, and that's it. <laughs> that's fucking it. You just release them in the wild. Silly, silly enough. So we'll uh, pick favorites and name them. She could rest. Look who's being punctual. Finally realize you're wasting Almighty Sinnoh's time bowing uh, by bowing to a sham. Who the fuck is this guy? There you go again. Insisting on your false image of a mighty Sinnoh as a ruler of time. My people follow the uh, true Almighty Sinnoh, the front of all creation and the ruler of space. Ha! You could have, uh, you have all the space there is, and still not, <laughs> still not know what to do with it. Excuse me? Are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make of uh, vast Isui space? Better than some. It's a miracle you showed up on time, Almighty Leader of the Pearl Clan. I'm worried you got lost in the pointlessly vast space you're so fond of never show up. Wow, what a bunch of fucking losers. <laughs> Me get lost in Almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan and our world's very basis? You wish. Ah, oh, two fucking nerds. Wish I hadn't let myself get dragged into an argument with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Com Commodore's office. I believe it was you who started this. It's another day with those two, I see. The man's named Adaman. He's the leader of the Diamond Clan. They put a lot of importance on time, as you can probably tell. And the girl is Irida. Or, er, er, yeah, Irida. Leader of the Pearl Clan. Iridescent. <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. I was trying to think, like, they are <laughs> trying to relate it to Brilliant and, uh... That would be hilarious, but they didn't. Uh, they're all about space. You heard what she called it, right? Our world's very basis. Whenever they run into each other, those same arguments flare up. Seems like they inherited some black blood from their predecessor's strife. Oh well, not our problem. <laughs> I like how the woman's just staring at us in the background. She's like, what are those two talking about? Uh, would you have, you'll have problems if you don't get yourself in the commander's office, Titan. Uh, yeah, geez, thanks for holding me here then, huh? <laughs> yeah, but he wanted to hear it 20 minutes ago and, whoo, you are really throwing him off. What a fucking asshole. What an asshole. Oh, splendid. You came along at a good time. I'm looking for a pickling stone, you see? Would you mind lending me a hand? It needs to be the right size to fit atop one of my pickle pots. And heavy enough to put a nice, firm pressure on the pickles while they're fermenting. Hmm. Suppose it'd be hard for me to lift such a heavy thing from the pot. The best thing would be if, uh, for the stone to lift itself up, actually. Oh, I have a rather good idea. It's called call Jiu that lives in the Dirac Heights. Dirac Heights. It'd be perfect for the job. Could you catch one and bring it back for me? I'll head home and wait there for you there. I'd like to use a sentient, uh, sentient creature as a pickling pot. Alright, uh, pickling rock. That sounds like fucking hell. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> Combat roll in the office. What do you intend to do about cl uh, that Cleavor commander, Kamado? Kamado? He might be descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but it looks like he. Look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get to the right to the point, Adaman. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleavor is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where a lord of the Pearl Clan is concerned. If my people were up to some, uh, up to we to do something, our throat, uh, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats, just like we used to be. 
But even folk on the galaxy team have been, uh, been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pro Clan bring down one of its own honored nobles? I don't believe I said that. Though, it may be. Thought it may be. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, you don't even know what drove Lord Cleavor into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. First, uh, this is a first as far as my clan knows, too. Ugh. <sighs> I see you've arrived. This is Titan, the newest member of our survey corps. Aha! You hear from uh, my, you earned Weird Dealer's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the Rift. I'm Adaman, clean, uh, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. But that's a mouthful. Just call me Adaman. If you came from beyond the space time rift, could you be a space, uh, from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? I am Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchlords. Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleavor before deciding what must be done? You send the stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleavor? This newcomer with no experience? Says the leader almost got, uh, with almost no experience. Being a good leader isn't a matter isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing his soys and vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give the ch kid a chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this your way. Should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk really are with all your weird ways, putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. The whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinnoh made his soys vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs today. From a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission now, Titan. I order you to study the Cleavor and f help us find the truth of this situation. Okie dokie. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. Just die for us, please. Well then, that's settled, and there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleavor, is uh, descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you've men encountered, uh, yet encountered can compare to his strength. Be warned. Just go fight a demigod, you know. Listen to me. Galaxy's expedition team has come out, uh, come to the Hisui region and it's a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl Clans, I understand? Join me downstairs, Titan. We'll cover the details of this new mission. Yay, more reading. Double downstairs. Good, you're already here! I've lost the voice. Professor Lavington, the briefing, if you please. Jolly good chill. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Titan, I understand you have been requested to find the cause of Cleavor's frenzied state. But as you are aware by now, Cleavor is a mighty thing. <laughs> Nigh invincible, even. Ho ho ho! Security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleavor when they were attacked. But, I'm afraid they didn't come close to catching him. It seems he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be cut outside of battle once they're arrived. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. The mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Of course. Yeah, sure, why not? Why not, man? Very well. Then let's get us, uh, let's go over the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl Clans revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sort of offerings they normally leave at this clear for. Titan, we need to speak with you. Listen, that rift in space-time it seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. The world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. Uh, the one that rules over time. Buddy, 
If you're talking about Arceus, are you talking about Palka and Dialga? I, I don't know. So you fell through the space-time rift that mi means uh, might mean you travel through time by Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it. You must have just been swimming in the divine might. Well, I've got a favor to ask of you, oh amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleavor. Quell his frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us a good time, young Adaman. We were just discussing our next steps with regarding this whole Cleavor situation. Oh, oh, you might just be, you must be the Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Ooh. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those pro clan types have a lot of respect for Cleavor. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get his un uh, this under control, too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those, uh, that, uh, those of Team Ga Galaxy Team. I, I keep saying fucking Team Galaxy, because, you know. Team Galactic, of all people, for help. And the truth is, when we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem in our hands, Pokemon dear to us, off in the mountains, has fallen into the same type of frenzy as Cleavor. Now, there's certainly bad blood between us and Pro Clan, but still, we've got to share who is Isui. And that means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. We find Cleavor in Grand Tree Arena. That's in the very heart of the Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Leon. Leon's a brilliant child, but also a bit... Well, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know? Well, he'll tell you all about his beloved Cleavor, whether you wish him to or not. Anyway... I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. Smell you later, Ash Boy. <laughs> wow, he really just said his piece and vanished. He must just value his time that much, I guess. Adam Man and Mai went wrong, you know. If you're to hear this, if you're to study, then perhaps even quell Cleavon. Let's start by visiting his abode. Now that we've got the the Heights Camp, it should come in handy to get to Grand Tree Arena. Grand Tree. And don't forget to visit the pastures. Choosing your Pokemon team carefully makes a difference. <laughs> Finding yourself unable to pick uh, to pick up materials, you come across a satchel always seeming full. It sounds like you. It'd be a wise. Uh, it sounds like you. It, if that sounds oh, I can't read. If that sounds like you, it'd be wise. Lend me your ear for a moment and hear what I have to say. I'm going to really quick, I'm going to close Steam and probably Discord see that I've got a little bit. I think, um, I think my internet's gone to shit. And there's not much I can do about it other than live with the fucking results of my sins. You can carry around even more in that satchel of yours if you learn to trick back to packing things in. I can teach you if you'd like. What do you say? I thank your initiative. My teaching fee is neat. A hundred pounds. Penny. Pokey. It's Pokey, isn't it? Perfect. So let me hear your moment. Ah, yes. One more kind of item. And that's all there is to it. See how much more you can pack and uh, fit in that thing by packing things correctly? Rightly? Rightly. If you want to be able to carry even more things, there's more I can teach you. What are you saying? Wait, I'm here. This is really annoying that you have to do it one by one to get one item for each, you know. Okay, we'll leave now. <laughs> I would like if a series of people just kept stopping me outside the- WAIT! Do you want to hear my secret? No, please, listen to my secret. Please, I've got a secret for you. Alright, if the Pokemon starts eyeing me, I'll fling an orange berry and then run while it's distracted. But it's just stick to the plan, I'll be fine. Oh, survey corpse girl. I was just heading out to the fields of the lands to go gather tumblestones, but I haven't got as many orange berries as I'd like. Are you familiar with orange berries? 
They restore some HP to Pokemon that eat them. As you might imagine, Pokemon tend to be very interested in them. You see where I'm going with this? Throwing Orange Berries is a great way to distract and avoid wild Pokemon. They're indispensable. With that in mind, could you gather five Orange Berries for me? I don't think I have five. I got three. I hear you caught three different species of Pokemon in your trial. That's no mean feat. If you have a job, it's per I have a job that's perfect for a high achiever like you. So I need help researching. Ah, those pesky Bidoof again! What are you doing, eating your fucking trees? Oh boy, for one second, the little scoundrels walks right into the village! Oh, this is awful. I'm a complete failure as a member of the security corps. How can I face Captain Zisu like this? No, get a hold of yourself, Tsugumi. Just catch the Bidoof and everything will be fine. But still, three of Bidoof's a lot. Two more than I think I could handle on my own, in fact. Oh, I have an idea! I heard that these particular pests get easily attracted by other Bidoof that are nearby and end up le letting their guard down around humans. So if you could bring a Bidoof to draw their attention, I can seize that chance to catch the little troublemakers. Voila! Perfect plan! If we combine forces, we'll get all three caught in no time. I have a Bidoof, don't I? And <coughs> we got Whirlpool. Cause uh, gotta be a Whirlpool to evolve. You there? You seem like someone who enjoys a bit of crafting. Do you think you could help me out with something? He looks a bit like um, Letter Nibelay, right, Spock? I'd be very, very grateful if you would try to craft something with a special recipe I came up with. Ha! So without further ado, here's the recipe. Pokishi doll. Three logs of wood. Where the fuck am I gonna get a log of wood? This is the recipe we have named Pokishi dolls. I invented them, you see. A special item that we could make in this village. I would love to have you craft one and show it to me. I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Yeah, where the fuck do I get wood, buddy? I feel like right by reading the description of the item, I probably could get it down. I guess probably it comes with instructions on how to craft it, right? So. Listen here, Survey Corpse Kid. I saw the darndest thing. I was scouring the heartwood for crops we could grow out in the fields here when I saw it. Pokemon called Cherim changed his appearance before my very eyes. It was in the evening, the light was getting dim, and all of a sudden Cherim's petals closed right up, so I looked like nothing in a little flower bud. Well, I thought, I just witnessed the miracle of evolution. The miracle of childbirth. But the next morning, when I went to check in on the Cherim, it was right back to full bloom. But why would it bloom just to close back up? Is that how evolution works? Or was the change I saw something different? When you finish Charon's Pokedex entry, let me have a look, would you? Let me just get a little pixies in there. Let me just see your Pokemon. Where are those Bidoof? Do I have to, like... I just gotta find them. Where are they at? Could it be right there? Uh, no. Boy, you forgot the controls. Hey! Oof. Caught it! Great going, team! Yes. Team effort. I think I'll drop the uh, rapid ash off. Are you gnawing at that fence post, young man? Don't eat that. It's made of bad wood. 
They should just rub the uh, poles and whatever Nintendo puts on their uh, cartridges. I would love to see like an official Nintendo timeline for the um... for the uh, Pokemon world. Just to see what they, uh... To see what the, the, like, the timeline they think is, right? Because, like, other regions clearly exist, at, well, are clearly more colonized than uh, the history region at this point, right? More civilized? Yeah. Whatever you want to use for the terminology here. Hi there, buddy. Good. Yeah. I imagine if Badoof could speak, he'd probably just be like goofy, really. So many frames dropped. I wonder if I think it should be fine for my recording. If I were to just reset the uh, router box and see if that helped at all. Which one is it again? Second. I'm just gonna reset it. I know it's gonna it's gonna drop the stream for a minute. So, if you are in fact watching, uh, do uh, hold on, hold your butt. It might take up to 12 minutes. So I'll see you guys then. I'll continue streaming though. Don't worry. So if you're watching on YouTube, don't worry. Uh, we're gonna keep going. But uh, the gateway's restarting, so you know, any this is this is exclusive YouTube content. Got it. Great going, team. Nice work. That puts a little troublemaker safety in our custody. Now to give him the old heave-ho. Hold on. He'd be ashamed to send those Bidoof back from the wild, no. My construction corpse could use them, uh, find a use for him. Huh? You want to keep him? But these naughty nibblers have caused so much trouble for the construction corp. And they're just Pokemon being Pokemon. How are they supposed to know our village is a strict no-chewing zone? Shows good taste in their part to come all the way here to gnaw on our woodwork, too. But if they're gonna stay here, they'll have to help with our work. They've got the, put, uh, the guts to keep trying to get into the village, plus the teeth to gnash through trees and rocks. Just what our corpse needs. <gasps> <laughs> nice exclusive YouTube content for you right there. Uh, how about it, little ones? Meal stays better after days of work, you know. Just what I wanted to hear. You, you can understand them? Hmm, I'm not convinced this lot have it in them to do the honest day's work. But if St. Quia is watching over them, I'm sure it'll work out alright. So I guess it's settled. And thanks again for your help. How are things going, my good friend? I certainly hope you are putting up that secret backstrike technique I taught you to good use. Either way, I have some super potions here just for you. I'll think nothing of it. Having a certain corpse out there and studying Pokemon is great for business, you know? Supporting you now is actually an investment for my own fortunes. That's fucking shoes, nerd. Look at those fucking round ass shoes. He's wearing booties. Uh, now they must depart. There are ruins that are quest calling to me. Did I pick up all the quests before I leave? Is there a way to tell from that in there? I don't know. Wait a second, what? With others, I would imagine it means, uh... Over the internet. For some reason. Uh... We still need to catch a couple different things. Yeah, the internet's gone for now. It's okay. We're still here. We're still recording live. We're still here live with you. Don't worry about it.
if it's like an ember. It's like an ember, uh, ether. Come on. Yeah, so discount. Just kind of use your own Pokemon. We saw that coming. Where you kind of just glide down weirdly. Oh, fuck. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, 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 gotta 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 run. Run, 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 run to save your life. Do, 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 do. Look at all these little pear ass. Do, 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 Large specimens you've caught. Fire type. Spawn. Jeez, 40 on those. This <laughs> is so cute. Just like fucking, he's trying his best. multiple times. That did uh, not solve my problems. So, if you're wondering if that fixed it, did not. Do it, do it now. got an idea for a new move. He figured it all out himself, you know. I could actually took me. 
Should have should have done this before stream started, huh? Just figure out what's wrong with my Wi-Fi. Should also be a uh, priority. animation for it. I don't really know what that means to be connected to the internet for this game. Oh, sorry, I was checking on the, uh... Oh. This is the given whirlpool. So cute. Genuinely, not getting to anybody. Uh, large specimens, numbers defeated, number fire type, resorb, sun spore evolved. Zero. Okay. I'm gonna forget that all in almost instantly, of course. Uh, let me just move this out of the way. Hopefully it's not making noise. Investigate the mushroom growing on Parasite. We need those. There's like a guy standing out here. What are you doing out here, man? Here, come across a tree shaking and swaying, expect it because Pokemon are up in the tree, feasting on all its berries. Sure. Man, Cricket's hot. Cricket's hot? It's just like a little fucking little boy. A little round boy. Hey, looks like uh, it might have affected my internet positively. Knock on the lid. Spotted, give it food. I actually want to give Pokemon food. Given food, different quarantine. That could have been bad. I wonder if there's a benefit to not instantly evolving. Right? It's like, you know, sometimes when you do Pokemon, right? You level one, I think you get better, like, different move pools, that different stat game. You know, and I don't have to level up to evolve these Pokemon, so technically you could just get them to the highest level, then evolve them at that point. He 
he looked so much cooler when he was like had those glowing fucking you know, like oh I'm a demon. Some kind of demon. He used bites, he used aqua tails, he used a strong move, number of different types of forms of routine. Nah, uh, probably shouldn't, you know. You can't stop me from walking on your dam! Probably should avoid that guy. With his glowing red eyes of doom. Think about watching up to a uh, better barrel with I'm gonna kill you eyes is uh, not ideal to me. I think I probably should be leveling up a little bit more aggressively. I didn't think they uh, didn't fly that far. I thought maybe they were a little bit more effective than that. The nap bay. Banana. The banana. Yes, yes, I know. It's it's the obvious answer, but you know, don't don't judge me. Don't you judge me from your high castle, you know, sitting there watching my video or my Twitch stream, judging me for who I am or my bad or that. I don't know why my internet's so bad. It's it's I, I know why actually. It's because it's Comcast, and uh, in my area, Comcast is king. I.e., everybody fucking has Comcast, and uh, it means everybody's fucking using Comcast at uh, you know 9:38 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on a, uh, what is it, Monday? Monday night? Monday night football! Football! Uh, I'm gonna feed it, I'm gonna feed it ground type moves, I'm gonna bite, thunder fang, different forms evolved. That? How? That doesn't make sense to me, right? To me, right? Because like, how how can Buneary and Luxio have the uh, same? The same stat? Like, I evolved one Starly. I got a Staravia. How can they both have the one evolve? Because technically, he didn't evolve from, you know. Does the Saga get another evolution point when I evolve him into Star Raptor? How does that work? How, how does that work? During daylight hours, defeated flying type moves and things. Specimens defeated, electrical types, use of confusion. You've given it food. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it said given it wood, and I'm like, why would I give a Pokemon wood?
Jake's so cool! I wonder if that backwards jump was aimed at me. Like, did he do it on purpose? Or was it merely coincidence? Was it on purpose? Is that supposed to be the Pokemon? Is that supposed to be a Cleavor? And that's what it is? Hey nerd! He's a fucking cowboy. He's a little cowboy, look at him. I am Leon of the Pearl Clan, the warden, the Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. Yep, you reckon you got the right guy? And you, I've already deduced that you're come here to meet Cleavor. I'm right, aren't I? Of course I am, I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerfully awesome Cleavor has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps the strange lightning the other day was almighty sin of divine power. But whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. A righteous might! So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to even meet Cleavor right now. Oh, such earnest desire to meet the mighty Cleavor! I have to admit, I'm struck by your passion. But, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no certain uncertain terms by Irida that I'm uh, to let no one name near Cleavor. I will fight you off myself if you insist. Uh, if you wish to avoid a battle, withdraw now while you still can or face the wrath of my gloomy. I'll take you out. Uh, you don't even realize you're turning, uh, I'm turning you away for your own safety. How sad you are. Go, Gumi, and say if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish show, Micah. Why, well, I do, I do declare. Who was a dragon? Pokemon. Can this be? I've made me defeated, but well, my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleavor now. It only welcome you to get. Well, uh, the only welcome you'll get is to approach him with a fire of devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply try making him an offering, and that's he but helping of his two favorite foods, served up with respect by his loyal warden. That's me, of course. It's usually enough to please him and soothe the prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleavor's Lord Warden, can't get close enough to give any offerings now. Not with the way Cleavor is rampaging around and running amok. There's nothing like an outsider like uh, nothing that an outsider like you can do. 
the ancestor of Cleavor, uh, the ancestor of Cleavor, weird here, and the cohort drew on Almighty Sinnoh's own power to protect Pokemon and people alike. So it said, "It's by their grace that our clan, that any of us, still live in this vast history today." Irida, <laughs> what are you doing here? Yuck. As you say, Cleavor's grown even stronger, but I'm afraid the strength poses a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by that lightning, could those the bolts have been sent by the false Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan bows to? Cleavor means so much to our clan. I hoped we could bring the situation under control ourselves, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. We must save Cleavor from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people and Pokemon are attacked, then it will lead uh, to conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the, the Galaxy Team. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me, could you Galaxy people actually fix all this? Could the outsider actually find a way to quell our Lord's frenzy? I'll figure something out. Very well. Leon and I will gather food that pleases Cleavor, in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy. Even you must search every corner of the vast history. Sacrifice some Bidoof in his honor. The yeah, phone is beeping. She's power now and able to return to this base camp in an instant. <laughs> oh, 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 so it's, it's letting me... Yes, I could, I could warp away back there. I get woods from. Uh, how would you catch a Zubat during daylight hours? Give you a long time. See, use Gust. I wasn't intending to attempt to do it, but you know, it's fine. A little less fine now. Yay, Zubat! There's a scissor over there. Hey! Hey, you over there! Hey! I'm not even sure I can climb up there, to be honest. Remember you defeated him in the final line over there. I think he's gonna find his way to me, to be honest. You fucking need- what do you mean?
Watch the death of him. I got a wood. And whole wood. I do like how Pokemon just kind of fucking run away. It's like, well, I, I mean, I'm watching him run. Can I do anything about it? No, no, he's, he's getting away. He's made, he's gone, you know. He's on the hunt. He's after you. Da 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 da. Been the next one. And he's hungry like the wolf. Kind of guarding the uh, the bridge a little bit better this time. The way his fucking eyes just kind of. See you later, nerd. Crossing your bridge, nothing you can do about it. Hey, kid. Back away, man. I'm gonna kill your kid. I'll do it, man. Is that different? No. We need to keep using Thunderfang to get more of the uh, experience for it. I'm still playing a game with controller on computer right now. In my free time. And it is messing up my ability to use the Switch controller. Such a smooth boy. Such a very smooth boy. I wonder if I can find a uh, Geodude who's mad. Turn around. Donk!
<laughs> oh. What's up, Pokemon, man? It's too good. I wish you could see the Pokedex from here. Like, do I need to do... Do I need to do a thing? Do I not need to do a thing? Do I, is it better that I just kill him? Or could I just... Do I need to catch, like, a, a female one? A male one? We're gonna find an alpha one just to give a woman a giant Pokemon. I saw, I saw, I saw a meme, a meme, as the kids would call it, but I know, I saw a meme where it's like, um, they only give the, uh, request Pokemon as giant, uh, giant alpha ones, so then they have to deal with the giant Pokemon they've been given, and, I mean, something tells me I'm not gonna be able to do it, but, you know, it'd be funny. It's funny how they look kind of scary before they, uh, you know, they come out, and then it's like, oh yeah, it's just a, just a better barrel. doing this. Uh, we should give it a name. Genuinely, you know, I'm gonna think of something, but I, don't, I can't think of anything right now.
Oh, I didn't drop. It kind of makes me regret not taking the item thing for it, but now, you know, it also doesn't help that, you know, who knows what the item was. So you also probably go back for the other one. Hey, buddy. I said you go back for him, but he's just come fucking run out of it. Hey, hey, I heard you uh, were in the neighborhood to get your ass whooped. I'm not gonna get your ass whooped, buddy. I have a big boy. Parasecute. Parasecute. It's just, it's just, it's just a fact, man. Specimen, large specimens you caught, number defeated, number you have fire type moves, number you've seen you absorb, stun spore evolved. I don't know if it's a lot. I mean, like, oh, That's probably the item. You didn't really see me from that far away. How do you tell if they're bigger than the other one? Like, genuinely. I just wonder if there's like an easier way to tell, or if I'm missing an easier way to tell, or it's just really just about, you know, eyesight. It seems kind of silly if you just have to, like, you know, oh yeah, well, it looks bigger than the rest, I mean. Oh, fuck. <laughs> You're just running out of- ah! So you don't know where you've been seen, but you've been spotted. Your life is in grave danger. I should avoid the uh, bigger car alarm. I also probably ooh, a bit of wood. Nah, let's just go back. You know why? It's really evening B. <laughs> Genuinely. I evening B because I. Jeez oh, Louise.
I need three wood. Three wood. Three tree wood. Good to see you, Titan. And how is your research in the Cleavel going? Swingly, I expect. Oh ho, is that so? That's quite the tidbit. So a serving of his favorite food will normally make Cleavel quite agreeable, is that it? I need to mull this over in the laboratory. You should come along too, dear girl. Attack, flame wheel, strong style move. I just don't move. She's starting to hurt my butt. Ugh, boy. Fuck. What was that? Is that really messing me clean? Oh, you bet it is. You bet it is. I gotta clean it. I don't need that none. Oh, fucking jets, loser. Oh, wait, no, that's me. Oh, there we go. Oh, that did a little better. Not really, but you know what? So, according to information, you were able to learn from Arid and Lamb, the Poe Clan. If you were this, were this the normal course of events, that Frenzy Cleaver would be calmed by a nice serving of his two favorite foods. I do wonder. Is it possible that the aromas or some other components of these foods might combine in a way that could not only calm Cleaver but draw him back to from his frenzy? But by your own report, even Cleaver Warden, a Cleaver's Warden who looks after Cleaver knows him well, cannot approach him in his current state. It'd be a fool's gambit to get him close enough to offer him food. Hmm. Give me a moment, if you would. I need some time to ponder on this. There ought to be something on my research notes that can help us. Because having a flip through a book would have been too hard of an animation. Eureka! You most simply have to throw the food. You're quite the arm of throwing things, haven't you, Titan? Might I suggest you take Clear Wars' foods and throw them at a Pokemon? Yes, it's all coming together. We can use our favorite skill in Pokeball crafting to shape Clear Wars blood foods and balls and throw them to achieve the same calming effect, but from afar! A brilliant idea, if I do say so myself, as for what to call these jummy projectiles. Well, how about tea time balls? Put one in mind of a nice, relaxing afternoon tea, doesn't it? Are you sure, Professor? They're your own inventions. Why not call them Lavington balls? No, oh my. With that name, I'd sound like I'm the only one, uh, the one being launched at a frenzied friend. In any case, we can rely on the Pearl's Clan to gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? Then you should hurry back to Gar the Grand Tree Arena and tell Pearl Clan about our brilliant plan. If you're off to the Grand Tree Arena, best set a foot off from Heights Camp, eh? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Does Oshawa look happy? I mean, Rowlet is a big Rowlet. I'm guessing Cynical would have been in here had he uh, stayed. So, do I have to bring them the Geodude I want to give them, or. Can I just talk? Can I just talk to them?
zoo, I believe. Take good lady and investigate as necessary. It's kind of reminds me of the Persona ones because they have just such a um. Who the fuck's Clarissa? Oh, did I? Genuinely thought I hadn't. With this, you've officially attained the rank of second star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. Use Feather Balls, level 30 by you. Board your word for your survey reports will be more generous now, too. Have, you, uh, have these as well. The correct recipes for need for crafting. I can read. Uh, continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise in real high in the rank. The hair I'm out. Not even long hair, I don't know where this hair came from. For now, let's take a worm pull. Any worm pull will do. You'll find some of these town folks to finish their requests off. Always entry in your Pokedex. Sorry, let me read it. Hmm, wait a moment. Male and female starting at different appearances? Let me see. So the markings of their foreheads are different sizes? Incredible, I had no idea. Thank you for letting me read its Pokedex entry. Now that I know more about it, I imagine I might finally bring myself to touch a Starly. Please, if you can find it in your heart, catch a Starly and bring it to me. There's not a Pokemon in this world so adorable as Starly, I tell you. Close to the security corpse. That's me. Thanks so much for reading my quest. I need you to catch a Zubat and show it to me so I can take a look at its eyes. Odd quest, I know, but I have good reason for it. Zubat never seemed to have trouble flying around in pitch darkness. That means the night vision must be top notch. I can learn how to see in the dark like them. Yes, because you can learn how to see in the dark by looking at somebody's eyes. If I learn how to see in the dark like them, night shifts and guard duty would be a breeze. So I'm counting on you. Uh, your help. Catch a Zubat and come show him to me, would you? Let's go look at those peepers, if you please. Just grab them. Huh? Where are the eyes in this little guy? Don't tell me. He doesn't have any eyes. But, and that means Zubat flies around while being completely blind? Hmm. Zubat must have some other kind of se secret sense. It doesn't even need eyes. Ugh, that'd be amazing and all, but it hardly helps me. What am I gonna do about my nighttime shifts and guard duty? Oh, that's a good idea. No need for me to do go alone, after all. A little help would be great. And that's that, then. I'll get out there and find a Zubat that can help me as my partner. Thanks for the great advice. How you doing, buddy? You working hard or hardly working? He's hardly working. Look at him. Go 
one gravy. I never expect you to bring one so quickly. I'm afraid I'm looking for a bigger one, though. It'd be at least around two eight foot eight would be great. Oh, he's two four. He's a fucking man. Let get him. He's a fucking mud, mud, mud. I have to like get a tape measure and go out there and physically me <gasps> measure each uh blue weasel. You really brought me one, must be as good as the rumors say. I'd like to name this whirlpool right away. Now, I've been told whirlpool can evolve into a bug known as beautifly, so I should give it a name with that in mind. Oh, you know he's gonna get dust talks now. Hmm, this is a tough decision. Which of these names do you like best? Beautitia, Beautifred, or Bugeen? I'm sorry. It's either Beautifred or Bugeen. You know, it's Bugeen. It has to be Bugeen. I decided. Uh, I like Bugeen too. I guess that's decided then. I'll raise Bugeen to be a splendiferous beautifly. Wait and see. Yeah, I can't wait to see your dust talking, buddy. I can't see this coming from a fucking mile away. He's like powering down. That's the noise they make. Uh, we are also looking to meet with somebody who needs something. Can't do his stuff. He's back in the uh, area. Uh, we can give her a Starly. We can give. Pick a Starly, any Starly. I have this one. Smooth curl, the feathers on its head, those lovely round eyes. Oh, it's lovely through and through. I adore it down to the last feather. Well, hello there, Starly. No! I, I think I'm quite satisfied just looking at it after all. Besides, it might let loose a move. Who outside the survey corpse, the security corpse, could actually do something so frightful to approach a Pokemon willingly? All the same, I thank you for showing me the sweet Starly. Some people will see a Pokemon and simply flee on sight, you know? Perhaps being able to read all about Pokemon in the Pokedex might put them at more at ease. Sure you don't you sure you don't want it? Because I can just give it to you. We're just gonna end up releasing it into the wild if we don't take it, so I mean. He's not exactly long for this team. Oh wait, no, the uh, wrong weasel. Wrong weasel! Wrong weasley. I like we met this woman inside the building, and then she just immediately runs out and comes to live out here. You here to give me a Geodude? Yes, yes I am. The only one I have. Need to catch more. Oh my, would you look at that? It really does look like a rock, and it seems perfect uh, to be the ideal weight, too. Oh, it's simply perfect. Thank you, young lady. With this Geodude's help, I'll surely make some scrumptious pickles. Dude. Oh, yeah, dude, bro.
I like how that Wurmple's just vibing over there now. He's just jamming, dog. He's just jamming. This is not my house. Your style, it's even. You gotta pay 500 bucks to get a change again. I was saying, like, didn't I put my shoes on? What? Why am I not wearing shoes again? Yeah, it's not exactly this. Uh. Single type moves, to be honest. Single type items. I don't like spending turns uh, like boosting a Pokemon when it's not going to be a permanent effect. You know what I mean? That's weird. I get what it is, but it's kind of it happens that way. I also find it weird that the doorstep seems to be raised, but the house still has dirt in the front, right? Like the door is raised. There's clearly a brick foundation around the outside wall. Why not just continue that inside and get rid of all the dirt inside? It just feels like extra work. My, my. That Galaxy Hall is one fine building, even from the outside. The Galaxy team's certainly got themselves a grand headquarters, so give them that. Oh, yes. I came uh, came because I had some news that I thought might be, you might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on, though. Let's head to the agenda of calling it the Heights Camp. Come with me, and you'll see a Pokemon full of fucking rage trying to murder your friends with his horns. I spoke to Weirdear about what's going been going on. I told him how you've been trekking all over the field and seeking a way to quell Clairvaux's frenzy. All this from someone who's not even part of our, our clan or the pro clan. Just some wanderer fell through a rift in this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. Weird ears found you worthy, you see. It means you'll be in need of flute to the, like we have. Mind assuring, demonstrating for her mind? I wouldn't have much points, but John, right? <laughs> uh, sometimes you regret saying things. This is very important, so listen well. You know what noise that is. I don't need to explain it. That's Celestia's flute that Mai just played. It's a precious tool that we use to call on Weird Ear when you can ride upon him. Uh, wherein you can ride upon him. Uh, it said the Celestia's flutes were gifts from Almighty Sinnoh itself, and now this one's yours. It's not a grand gesture, really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. See if you can play that melody. Wow, it's fucking first time.
and use that Celestia flute wisely and gallop across the land, the great weird here. You got a frenzy Pokemon to quell in the Grand Tree area, haven't you? With word here, you can gallop across the fields in no time. So don't jump off the cliff. It's not Skyrim. I also like how, you know. Wow. How is a Geodude not always a heavy specimen? <laughs> Run away from me, you little fucking burby. Get your ass back over here, boy. You ain't going nowhere. Is it ching? Just fucking walk up to him as close as humanly possible, then chuck the ball at him as hard as humanly possible, and uh, maybe just maybe it'll fucking <laughs> give him brain damage. <laughs> Poor little fella. I actually would like to go just real quick over towards...
forgot about you. Yeah. This is how we, it, it's not Skyrim, but it, it's basically Skyrim. back over there I think how tall are you <laughs> excuse me what's your height Oh yes, I'd like to know who's tallest out there. I mean, the one on the right kind of looks taller, but it might be because it's closer. I think it's that guy's Orenberry. battle from up here. Are you definitely taller? I'm pretty sure you are. Come on, how did that not kill it? You're bashing me, you know it.
Hey, can you... Can you guys get... I can't tell. I mean, it kind of looks taller. It is genuinely hard to tell. Oh, there we go, large specimen, so... Must mean it was taller. Hey, the drip bloom. It doesn't actually put him to sleep, just okay. Good to know. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to camp real quick. So, we're gonna go to this camp first. Apparently there's a quest over here. Quest over here, we'll get the request, we'll turn any of the requests, we'll Oh, that's a nice pretty mushroom if I ever did see one. I'm glad I chose you for my request. You've got what it takes to find a male mushroom forager. By the by, did you know that a springy mushroom like the one multiply in no time? That's why you will find them all over the obsidian fieldlands. Uh, if they're versed now too, fry them, stew them, stick them in a stew. Uh, but I, the rest, let's get, the uh, teach you a recipe. How do you work with over there? Yeah, there you have it, a delectable mushroom cake. Blow it by Pokemon far and wide. Just throw one of the wild Pokemon in. It's possible to a nice mushroom snack. And you can bet your bottom the toadstool you'll go after it and cake lure. You can, of course, try to uh, use that opening to make your getaway. Or, of course, you can try to catch the Pokemon. Here, I'll give you some of my own cake lure bases so you can get crafting right away. I'm kind of going to make my rest of the level. Good job, I'm going to go back a little bit. Hmm, my rest rich tone. Uh, how is it produced? I must know. Uh, he hello, I didn't see you there. Wait, you're the survey corpse. Wonderful, just the person I need. I want to learn more about Cricket Top. I just, uh, you must be curious about them as well, right? I mean, how do they make those sounds of theirs? A musical mystery like no other. I'll be in your den if you can complete Cricketot's page and Pokedex and show it to me, so I, uh, we can come cover the truth. Did I... Is Cricketot... Cricketot's the small one, right? Did I not already finish Cricketot? I don't know. Maybe? Maybe not? It's not really Pokemon, but... Much like when I said about it, I talked about it in, uh... The game. I don't exactly give a shit about Cricketot. <laughs> <sighs> you gotta go beat up some. Okay, one more warp. I 
<laughs> I like how he's also here. Master nice to meet you, young Survey Corps recruit. I'll give you the rare ability to dash over hill and veil back Pokemon, yes? Well, why not try your hand at balloon race? Game I'm ready myself. Except only just need to burst as many of my adorable balloons as possible while riding a Pokemon. You managed to burst, say, 17 balloons. That's an impressive start. You can find me here anytime and let me know when you feel like testing your skill in the balloon race. Balloon race. Jeez Louise, balloons. Fuck. Cliff. <laughs> Jim off the cliff, like a uh, Dukes of Hazard. Hope for the best. It certainly sounds like a me plan. I kind of like the idea of just like running past the Pokemon, just clomping its fucking face in when you catch by it because you're not paying attention. So you say you and the Gax people came up with a method to quell Lord Claybor's frenzy? Some really fucking detailed lips. What? You mash up Claybor's favorite foods into balls and you throw offerings at them? Well, that's quite an unorthodox approach. You Gags of people. Your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, you can make offerings to Lord Cleavor from a safe distance. I'll lend you my aid if it means me might provide Cleavor with his offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't get ahead of yourself. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleavor's favorite plump beans. I've brought them, as promised. God, that's right. My apologies, Irida. I've forgotten all about you. I admit, uh, I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have a little, little, little choice but to turn to the Galaxy team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should trust such a thing to an outsider. These Galaxy team people don't share our customs or our values. So prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may, ba you may battle by ordering around Pokemon you caught in your little Pokeballs, but on my side, I have a Pokemon as close to me as a sister, and one of my, as one of my blood. You defeat my defeat Glaceon and me, I will entrust you with Cleor's fate. Will you battle us? Then allow Glaceon's true strength to chill you to your depths. I mean, I don't have a choice, do I? Oh no. Yeah, that was, uh... That was inevitable. Poor Paris, I didn't really, uh... Didn't really expect him to be the first one out. I uh, kind of forgot about him. Mm. I want to do this for tonight, then end it probably. The uh, the the cleaver battle. I see now. Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not parts of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon that you caught and treat them as partners. I feel better, I mean, except for poor Paris. <laughs> Paris fucking got his shit pushed in. Uh, I feel better putting my trust in you now, I think. Let me see you, uh, to, you to your Pokemon's wounds. Now, explain to the Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? So you, because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash Cleaver's favorite foods together, ball them up, and try to quell his frenzy by throwing them at him? Interesting. So you've developed soothing balms of sort to calm our lord. Very well. <laughs> it'll keep soothe, it'll help soothe Cleaver's frenzy. We'll have to take, make these balms with our very hearts and souls. Are you in the mash minigame from uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon? <gasps> mash, 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 mash. It kind of reminds me of those, uh... The sports day from the animes, of the mobile database. There, a venerable mountain of bombs. They should place Cleavor if anything can. Now then, ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty lord Cleavor. 
Claymore, Lord of the Woods. Give it a shot. As am I. As am off. Oh, Mighty Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. No, it isn't yet time of ceremony. We've offered an offering of one of your favorite things. But never the Lord who works his might between the heavens and earth. We offer our gratitude and beseech you. Reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Titan. Keep your focus on Cleavor. Dodging will be tr uh, vital. Try to avoid his moves while you're throwing as you're throwing the bombs. Man, that tree does not look as good up close, does it? <laughs> oh no, it's Sonic! do that. I'm sorry, Self Rock is now a physical damage type move? Kind of going. I mean, 
I mean, it's not in battle, but, you know, just keep throwing bombs at him. These little bags of cat meat. Man, I'm really not a fan of that fucking design. <laughs> Essence of bugs. Sounds terrible. <laughs> I hate it. It's just a plate of mashed up bugs. Well, what happened? Some kind of ladder wrapped from Cleavor's body. Has Lord Cleavor frenzied mind truly been put in these now? Does this confirm the strange light was the blame for Cleavor's unnatural power? Maybe. Well, this is what I think, after all we've seen. We know strange lighting come, came, lightning came from out of the space-time rift the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleavor and driven him to a frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space-time rift? Well, if Almighty Sinnoh really does well beyond the space-time rift and the strange lightning, it indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power? <laughs> I don't think I read that correctly. Then where, where are we even trying, uh, wait, where are we even right trying to interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs, as if I knew what was going what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, Leon. Remember that the Lord uh, the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would powers sent by the true Almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleavor to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What Titan accomplished just now, it needed to be done. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife with uh, strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. If you come across other Pokemon in the group uh, in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Hmm. Yeah. Fine. I suppose it must concur. I apologize for coming briefly and composed. I am grateful for what you've done for my Lord Jesus. Uh, please take these on behalf of the Pro Clan. Consider it my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier. In token of my thanks. Three berries, thank you. <laughs> Let me take care of Pokemon as well, in appreciation of fighting on behalf. I think I've finally come to believe, uh, believe that you truly did fall out of the sky, though I still cannot imagine the reasons at play. And same as we settle things here. Though, between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Cleavor in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong, after all. Okay. We're going to stop here. We can do that next time. I'm just gonna, if I do, I won't go back to town, I guess. But I'm not gonna do any, qu uh, any quests without being on stream, so. If I do play any of this game, it'll just be me collecting Pokemon. Uh, maybe we'll have named a couple. We're only catching shinies in this game is super easy, so maybe we'll just catch the shinies, and then those will be the permanent ones. Who knows? We'll figure it out. But uh, until next time, uh, well, tomorrow is probably the Pathfinder. Or, um, I think right now right, we'll stick with the one Pokemon game, so we'll, um, probably wrap up Pathfinder, and then try to finish up Diamond. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure out how, how, how it all shakes out. I'll, I'll be able to decide when time comes. I think I know what decision is already, but, you know, until, uh, tomorrow, thank you all for watching. Do like, comment, subscribe, follow on Twitch, and pray for a better internet, like I will be doing. I'll hail the Messiah. Bye.